Today was a very special day over on Capitol Hill. Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise returned to the House floor 15 weeks after he was shot in an attack during a practice for the annual congressional charity baseball game. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman is live in the newsroom with what he had to say today. Lauren? It was an emotional day, Sarah, for Congressman Scalise and his colleagues as he spoke moments after getting a huge reception on the House floor. Unbridled joy and relief spills out across the House floor this morning. The chair wishes to mark the return to the chamber of our dear friend and colleague from Louisiana, Mr. Steve Scalise. With the help of crutches, Scalise slowly but deliberately moves to the podium for the first time in 15 weeks. You have no idea how great this feels to be back here at work in the people's house. There was a time many of his colleagues wondered if he would ever be back. It's just, it's wonderful. It is a great day. Three and a half months after one of the darkest days in congressional history. When 66-year-old James T. Hodgkinson opened fire during an early morning practice for the annual congressional charity baseball game. Four people were hit before police shot and killed him. Scalise's injuries were the most severe, shot in the hip. The bullet traveled across his pelvis, fracturing bones, injuring internal organs, and causing severe bleeding. I'm definitely a living example that miracles really do happen. Scalise spoke for more than 15 minutes, so am, thanking I'm God, his doctors, family, life, friends, life, colleagues, and at one point turned to a Capitol Police Crystal officer who rushed in as the shots rang out. You are my hero. You saved my life. You may remember Congressman Roger Williams of Texas and his legislative aide Zach Barth were among those injured in the attack that day. This morning, Williams said on Twitter that he could not be happier to see his friend return.